What's up guys, Evil D here and I'm back for some more World of Warcraft slash Esperanto lessons. So, as always, we'll start with a little bit of revision. Now, we've got to kill a whole heap of deer in this um, episode, I guess, to start leveling up a bit. But so, first word for the revision, I guess, is the word for deer. So, what is the word for deer? It is... Certival. Certival. And do you remember the word for moose? It is alko. Alko. And how do you say without? Sen. Sen. Ooh, am I meant to p pick that up? I don't know. Uh, no, I wasn't meant to pick that up. I just randomly walked away. Okay, and how do you say I'm here without my friend? Me estas chitie sen mia amico. And do you remember the word for dragon? Draco. Draco. And what was the word for they? It's too far away. Illy. Illy. And how do you say they are beautiful? Illy estas bellae. Ili estas bellae. And how would you say we are beautiful? Ni estas bellae. Ni estas bellae. And something I just wanted to point out, which was actually mentioned by one of you guys in the comments below, um, they asked about you. And now I haven't taught the word for you, but I might as well now. So the word for you is V. V. Now in Esperanto, you can be both singular and it can also be plural. So, for instance, you can say you as in a single person or you as in a group of people. Now their question was, is that like when you use you, do you use it plural if you're talking about multiple yous or do you use it singular? How does it work? So with you, if you're talking about one person, the adjective is singular. If you're talking about a group of people, the adjective is plural. So just keep that in the back of your mind whenever you're um, speaking the language. So what was the word for you again? It was V. V. What is going on over here? I have a bunch of what? Whoa. Oh, hello. Some dude just randomly pop, popped into the picture. God, I can't talk today. My voice is killing me. Okay. And do you remember how to say the pronoun that refers back to the subject? It is C. Ooh, we have a little rabbit. How cute are you? Die! By the way, we should learn that. So the word for rabbit is kuniklo. Kuniklo. Okay. Now that is a rabbit as in like um, it lives in the ground, like in the ground, like in little holes, or you keep it as a home, um, at home as like a pet type of thing. So that type of rabbit. There is actually another word for rabbit in Esperanto. And that word is uh, leporo. Leporo. And now that word's uh, not used as often because it's actually referring to like the wild rabbit with um, the long ears and the back legs. It's what we usually use in English for hair. Now in Australian English we don't really distinguish between those because we just don't have hairs really here or maybe we do, we just don't know. So yeah, just remember that the cute little fluffy type rabbit that you see around the home, that is kuniklo and the big ugly rabbit with the long legs and ears, or might not be ugly, but that is Leporo, Leporo. Okay, cool, we got that sorted. So how do you, how would you say, I love uh, me? Mi amas min. And apparently there is no more deers left, so I'm just gonna go head down south and do the other quest. And how would you say, you love you, for instance? V amas vin. Okay, um, you notice that we didn't use C there because there is only one U. Well, technically you can have plural, but there is only really one U um, when you're referring to that type of pronoun. So how would you lo say she loves herself? She amas sin. Ooh, and what was the word for basilisk? It was basilisco, basilisco, and I'm just going to kill this one because it's eyeballing me from a distance. And how would you say um, I have a basilisk? 
Mi havas basiliskon. Cool. And how cool would that be to have one of these as your pet? Imagine this is like a guard dog would just be standing there at the door, all six legs. And that's really weird because like the English version of basilisk isn't like a legged animal. In memory it's like a snake, so I'm not sure why they decided to call this a basilisk. But anyway, bit off topic. Oh, there we go. There's another deer. What was the word for deer again? It was Tsurvo. And what's the word for rabbit? It is Kuniklo. Or if you're talking about the really ugly, wild, long-legged one with long ears, that is Leporo. Leporo. Okay. And how would you say I have a rabbit? Mi havas Kuniklon. Now, should I go down here? What have I got to do down here? I've got to, um... Oh, wait. Sorry, looking at the wrong stop on the map. Uh, oh, okay. So they just want me to kill deers down here as well. What is it with the deer killing today? Jesus. You know what? I'm just going to leave this area. Who, who cares about the quests? Let's just head north. I want to see what's up there. Okay. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to practice start, like practice with a couple of verbs and how to put them together in a sentence. Now, we've learnt the word for uh, to go, oh sorry, go present tense, that is iras, iras. Now, I'm going to teach you how to say want present tense. So, that is volas, volas. Now, if you want to say I want to go, you'd say mi volas idi. You hear how the present tense has now changed to ed from edas to ed. What's happened there is when you, like for instance with English, you say I want, so that's present tense, you want, so mi volas, to go. You hear that to there? That there is called an infinitive verb, okay? So in Esperanto, whenever you have one of those, you actually put an I sound at the end of the verb. So it goes from, say, present tense want is volas, and to want is voli. Okay, voli. So if you'd say, I want to go, you'd say, mi volas idi. Mi volas idi. What is this blue demon looking thing? Whatever, I'm going to shoot her because that's the type of person I am. I shoot people on the first time I see them. Hi, how's it going? Whack, take that. So, how would you say, I want to go? Mi volas idi. Mi volas idi. So how would you then say, I want to run? Mi volas kuri. Mi volas kuri. And how would you say, they want to run? Ili volas kuri. Ili volas kuri. And how would you say, the deer wants to run at me? Remember I taught you how to say at in a previous lesson? La tsurvo volas kuri almi. La tsurvo volas kuri almi. And how would you say the deer wants to run away from me? La tsurvo volas kuri demi. La tsurvo volas kuri demi. Cool, cool. Now we're going to learn uh, two more verbs in this session. So. One of the verbs we're going to learn is uh, to eat, and to eat is manji, manji. And the, ooh, what is that? I just want to go check out whatever that thing is. It was like a blue flying thing. Oh, that's high level. Now, that's a hippogriff. Okay, now I actually looked up the word for these because I'm not like that cool. I don't know how to say hippogriff in, or whatever it is in English in Esperanto. Um, because that is actually a real mythological creature. Now, the word I found for it was hippogrifo, hippogrifo. So we're going to refer to these thus forward as hippogrifoi, which is obviously plural there because I'm referring to more than one, but now this is just singular. So, how would you say the hippogriff wants to fly at me? You know fly. La hippogrifo volas flugi almi. La hippogrifo volas flugi almi. And how do you say to eat? It is manji. Manji. And I'm going to teach you another verb. It's probably going to be the last, or maybe the second last verb I teach you today. So this verb is to drink. 
And the way to say to drink in Esperanto is trinki. Trinki. I don't know what these things are. They look like kind of little bears or something like that. But whatever. Whatever. Let's just shoot it. I shoot everything around here. This is like a really evil version of Pokemon. Instead of trying to catch everything, I'm trying to kill it all. Okay. So, how do you say to drink? It is trinki. Trinki. And how would you say I want to drink? Mi volas trinki. Mi volas trinki. Is that another? No, that's not one of those. Oh, maybe these guys have got. So these are looking more like mooses. They're getting bigger, but they've still got the body of a deer. God, is, if anyone out there is like an expert on deers and mooses, tell me. Does this look more like a deer or more like a moose? To me, it's a deer. What was the word for deer again? It was suitable. Suitable. Okay. And how would you say, I'm here without my friend? Mi estas chitie sen mia amico. I'm going to teach you the word for, and this will be the last verb, I swear today that I'm going to teach you. And the verb is to like. Wow, there is a massive aeroplane flying over my house right now. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Anyway, the verb to like is shati. Uh, shati. So, what we're going to say now is the hip, um, hippogriff likes to fly. Okay, so how would you say that? La hippogrifo shatas flugi. La hippogrifo shatas flugi. And how would you say, I like to run? Mi shatas kuri. Sorry, my voice is still playing up a little bit from this flu that's hit me, so it's just messing with everything right now. Can't pronounce anything. So, mi shatas kuri. And how would you say the deer likes to run? La tsurvo shatas kuri. Okay, and we practiced in a few lessons back um, how to negate a verb. So we're going to practice some of that as well while we're here, since we've learned a few new verbs. So how would you say um, the deer likes to eat? La tsurvo shatas manji. And how would you say the deer doesn't like to eat? La tsurvo ne shatas manji. And how would you say I like to run? Uh oh, uh oh, bad, 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 bad. Oh wait, he's friendly. He only hurts me if I annoy him. Hi mate. Look at this, I can wave at him. Hello. By the way, the way to say hello in Esperanto is saluton, saluton, and you'll notice it's in the accusative case, um, and the reason for that being is like with things like uh, hello and stuff like that, what you're actually saying is, I want to say hello, basically, or um, it's something like that. So that's why it's actually in the accusative case, you're just getting rid of all that stuff that's sitting in front of it. Anyway, so how do you say hello? It is saluton. Awesome. Now I think we're coming pretty close to the end of this lesson now, so let's just practice what we've learnt so far today. Now, how would you say? Um, blah, 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 let's see. The hippogriff likes to fly. I'm out of range. La hippogrifo shatas flugi. La hippogrifo shatas flugi. And how would you say the hippogriff doesn't like to walk? Because you know it's got wings. If you got wings, why would you like to walk? La hippogrifo ne shatas iri. Oh, don't knock me over! Don't knock me over! Hey, hey. I guess there's another giant around here somewhere. And what was the word for rabbit? It was kuniklo. Kuniklo. And do you remember the word for that, uh, for like hair? Like the long eared rabbit with the long back legs? It is leporo. Leporo. Okay, let's just practice one last. Oh, hello. I didn't even see you there. 
And how would you say you singular are beautiful? Vi estas bella. And how would you say you plural are beautiful like these guys over here? You guys are beautiful. V estas bella. Okay guys, so we've reached the end of this lesson. Um, if you've liked this, give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share it around with your friends. That really helps me out. And I'll see you in the next video. And if you're not there, well, I might set my pet giant on you. <laughs>